Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your monthly horoscope forecast. This is going to cover love, money, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know can help you with the situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so again, we're going to talk about money first, excuse me, love first, then money and finance. And then we're going to talk about what do you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to go to help with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to have my Sagittarius's romantic love life for the month of July? Give me nine cards for Sagittarius romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Sagittarius's career and finance for the month of July. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's go further here. So Wow, so the first card out for the first month of July here, marriage is involved with the situation. Somebody's got their eye on you. Okay, look interested in some kind of long-term traditional commitment with you. Okay, let's see what that's about, Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so uh, this is the middle of the month here. This is the end of the month. Let's look at the bottom of the deck of the overall energy. Hmm. So that looks like to me, it, like it's like you are stuck in the middle of a situation and you feel like you're not seeing things clearly yet. And so there's a lot of uncertainty and there's this concerns about some kind of hidden peril here with the moon card energy. So let's just see what that's about. So I first want to clarify this marriage situation here coming in for the, the first week or the first half of July. All right, what's going to happen with my Sagittarius' romantic love life? Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius' romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius' career and finance for the month of July. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so yes, there's something about this house, this home, the sense of stability here. Okay, a stable situation coming in for you guys. Okay, interesting. Okay, so uh, let's keep going. What's going to happen my Sagittarius's romantic love life? Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Sagittarius's career and finance for the month of July. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, so someone is in very deep regrets about you. Um, they don't want to let you go. They're feeling bad about this situation. They feel like they're running out of time because there's something about this house or home situation that's involved with this. Okay, so your person's going to be quick in their actions. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Although this Knight of Swords isn't even on a horse and, ho and, and Knights are always action oriented, but this one seems like they just don't know how to come forward here. Uh, because of this tremendous regrets, they, they, they can't let you go. They're, there's just this old memories of the past. Okay, uh, let's keep going. There's a deep love for you, Ace of Cups energy. They very much deeply love you. And I see that they're concerned about you leaving them out in the cold. They're concerned that this door has been shut off to them. Uh, because you've been avoiding them with the Five of Pentacles energy. And I see that they're, wow, you're really dealing with a person that's dealing with tremendous regret here. I mean, literally you had, I don't think I've ever seen this many regret cards before. All in a, in a line here, Sagittarius. You definitely got this person really feeling bad about what's going on. And there is this, this deep love for you. And I feel like they feel like it's too late. Uh, because it's just like they're sitting there like, oh my God, the time is about to elapse here. Uh, I feel like possibly because you just decided to leave them out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy. And because you've left them out in the cold, they're in this deep, deep regret about it. Yeah, it's like this person's now stuck. And 
they are tied to their situation so they don't know how to move forward. They're lacking direction. And I just see this very deep love here, this Ace of Cups here. But we see these indecisions because of these regrets from before. So let's keep going here. Actually, let's use this deck. I normally don't use this deck for clarification, but I just like to see how this, this regrets and all this. Let me just get more information. All right, what's going to have my Sagittarius's romantic love life for the month of July? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Oh, gosh. No. That's why. This is your true love. And this person really treasures you. Hmm. There's definitely a deep love here. Okay. Um, let's keep going here, Sagittarius. There is this sense of frustration, arguments, fights uh, here in the middle of the month or someone really wants to fight for you. Uh, let's see what this is about. There is this defensiveness within you guys. You're just really, you got your guard up here. Um, let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because of the fact that there's this concern about running out of time again. It's like tick tock, tick tock. All right. This person's going to try to express their love through giving or gifts. They're going to be giving to you. You're still at this crossroads here with this Two of Swords energy. So this person's really going to try to assert themselves here in this connection. There's a lot of deep, heavy soul searching going on about this situation. Yep. This person's going to do a lot, try to do a lot, try to take a lot of actions towards you to regain your confidence here. It looks like you will finally get clarity and answers, Ace of Swords energy, uh, by the middle of the month here. You are definitely getting a lot of attention, Sagittarius. You are definitely being appreciated here with this clarity. You are getting an understanding this person really has a strong uh, attraction to you. This is the clarity that you're getting. Okay, and if I go further on this, yep, you're realizing that actually with this situation, there's a very deep foundation here. And this person is expressing their love to you. Wow, what a good reading so far. Really expressing love to you. This is a true love, a deep love. I don't feel like you guys even were aware of it until the middle of the month here. I don't feel that this person really expressed it. I feel like you felt it, but I, I don't feel like you really knew, okay, for some of you guys. Okay, so let's keep going. So you're, you're in the, the month of, the, you know, the end of the month here, and I see that you're getting this new perspective. Now, you see how this Page of Swords is kind of like, wow, this new idea, this new understanding. Here I thought, that this situation was a lot more stiffer, but now I'm realizing it's bendable, right? It's a new understanding of your situation by the end of the month here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And this is really bringing you massive changes here when it comes to your romantic love life. You're really surprised about this situation here. And I see that you're ready to take a chance on love here. I see there's this apology, this reconciliation here for a situation that you thought was blocked to you or the possibly the person thought they were, it was blocked to them. We see there's a happy energy, a joyful energy, a really in strong enjoyment here uh, towards the end of the month when it comes to your romantic love life. And really big, big changes here for you guys, massive changes here for you guys uh, towards the end of the month here. Mm-hmm. Um, also, there could be this potential for new love also coming in here by the end of the month, okay? But somebody definitely is kicking up their efforts here with the, Ace of Pe the Eight of Pentacles energy. And you now know with the, because uh, also what I see here is there's three people here. So you have more than one choice. Okay, so going further here, yep, people card coming out. So Sagittarius, you got a lot of options here, okay? Lots of options here. Yep. Understand like attracts like. 
Okay. So you, this new love seems to be more in line uh, uh, with you, in alignment with you. There's something more complex about this situation with this other person, because marriage could be involved with this situation, okay? And that also is a reason why this person feels like they're running out of time, because you're getting disgusted and fed up with the situation. They're going to give you clarity and say, and, and try to be very giving to the connection to hold on to you until they ever work out what they work out. Um, but it still seems like by the end of the month, you may potentially take a chance on new love because you feel like it's more in alignment here. Okay, so, but you're just, you haven't made any decisions as of yet. Okay, so, cause I just see there's people there, all right, around you towards the end of the month. But there is a realization with this person, finally, they, they really do have attraction to you. It's a deep attraction and you're really surprised about it. And it's it's new perspective, it's massive change for you around the situation with this person that you felt it was potentially a passionate situation and that there was nothing more to it. But you're finding out this person has a lot of regrets and they're gonna take control of the situation to get your attention. There's gonna be some massive changes, which is gonna bring some sense of happiness because at least you know. And I see at the central theme of your reading for this month that you're at a crossroads. You got two choices to make, right? There's competition, people fighting for your attention. The signs around this, the main signs I see is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It could be two, could be a younger Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, one that's a little bit older. Okay, so there, there could be a younger energy here though. Um, and we see this apology and effort. So it looks like you have decisions to make, you do have clarity, but for some of you, there may be, with the one person, there may be still marriage involved with that situation. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Sagittariuses when it comes to a romantic love life for their highest best good, for the best possible for them, for the month of July? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here. Yep, we see the marriage involved with the situation. Yeah, they're definitely suggesting marriage needs to end for this, okay? For you to fix and heal this uh, and to renew with this person towards something that you want. Um, you know, this talks about enjoyment, paradise, you know? Abundance of reunions. Get ready for an abundance of reunions. And you need to make the wisest decision when it comes to the long term. So yes, reiterating that that person has some complexities around their situation for sure. All right, so let's move into your career and finance here. Okay, so you guys are working on yourselves. You're growing something here. Okay, you're being patient and things are coming into balance for you. Uh, I feel like you guys are realizing you have a lot of potential opportunities uh, that you are attracting with the Queen of Wands energy coming out, because that's your energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So going further here, uh, I see there is a friend that may be helping you to grow your business or dealing with your career in finance. Uh, there seems to be like a social media, a group of people around this, uh, socializing, networking. There is this new thing here uh, new project, new uh, thing you're looking into. You are collaborating with someone. Yep, there's definitely a collaboration, a partnership coming together with someone. So that you can gain some kind of flexibility here because you feel like you're going around in circles. That often happens too. It's like uh, you can't do everything on your own and sometimes, you know, the lack of time and stuff like that. So it seems like this collaboration is gonna help with that. Yeah, because you're feeling more accomplished here by the middle of the month when it comes to this juggling that you're doing, because it looks like you're juggling two different things at once. Um, you're getting more of a solid foundation here towards the middle of the month. Some of you guys could be traveling or there could be some kind of movement happening or moving, uh, or you just are getting some kind of traction, some kind of action. You're getting messages that you have been waiting for, a message that you've been waiting for about this juggling of this, these two uh, things that you've been working on. And I see there's gonna be this big change for you guys. You're doing things by the book, getting more organized, and you're winning here. And you're listening to your intuition because you have this aha moment, which is a real breakthrough for you guys in the middle of the month. And now by the end of the month, you're moving past this tough cycle you're using your head here, smart about your decision making, and you're able to take more of a break and a rest. 
So I got the King of Swords energy. Uh, there's this sense of truth around the situation or you're using your intelligence to take a leadership role. We see you're deciding to end a situation and you're gonna speak the truth about that. So it seems like you have two things you're juggling. Maybe you're juggling a regular job and maybe you have some kind of side thing going on here. Something's going on where you're collaborating with someone and it's helping you to grow this. And so you're getting to the point where you're ready to, to say, okay, I'm gonna end this other, other situation. Yes, you're gonna make some kind of impulsive uh, decision here because there's, some, there's, there's a lot of money at a stake here and you're really thinking about it. So there is definitely a lot of money on the line here. Let's see what more information about this. Yeah, look at that. You're ready to just go for it. Cause you're like, this is really what I want. You feel like that would be good for you on the long term, and you feel that this is the right time for you. You're seeing a lot of great hopeful signs and you get some kind of real aha moment here in the middle of the night, uh, middle of the night. Yes, I mean, it could be in the middle of the night, in the middle of the month here. And it really gets you thinking because you know there's a lot more money in that. So I feel like you guys are gonna start moving more towards that potential opportunity you feel is gonna bring you a lot more money because of this collaboration you're doing. Okay, so let me get you guys some advice for your career and finance. Can I have some advice for my Sagittarius when it comes to their career and finance? For their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them for the month of July, show my cards you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, get ready for major changes here. This is your destiny. And this is gonna give you the freedom that you've been waiting for, Sagittarius. We see something about this travel, this moving, this change towards this work situation will bring you towards your abundance. You know your value and your worth and the situation from before, which you can fix. Okay, listen to your intuition on this. Something is gonna go in your favor when it comes to this renewal of a past energy. Okay, so something from before there. Can I ask advice for my Sagittariuses when it comes to what they need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know could help them? Spiritually, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Sagittarius, let's take a look. So again, this is like the Empress card energy. Love your body. Let your beauty radiate. So this is for me like a beautiful flower. What I always tell you guys, be that beautiful flower, be that beautiful diamond and shine. Uh, a lot of times what happens if we want to attract, we want to manifest, we have to start with ourselves. The more we love ourselves, the more we attract. Okay, so yep, it's saying dedicate yourself to this your challenges will reap rewards. So it's like you're about to reap some kind of rewards here, but you gotta stay in the moment, okay, the now. So focus on being in the now, focus that energy back on you and attract. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. There's multiple reasons guys to go check out right now, okay? I just did the weeklies for your sign, so you can go check that out. Go to the community tab. You can go to the video tab and scroll down. You can find it there. You can go to the playlist for the weeklies. It's there. Um, so there's multiple places you can find it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.